Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and welcome to episode 5 of Journey to 2020, A Sims Decades Challenge. The objective of the Decades Challenge is to live as historically as possible from the year 1890 to the year 2020. Each decade has different rules to follow and I'll fill you in on those as needed, but for a full list I've included a link below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, we've got a lot to do, so let's get started. So here we are back in the house. Oh, and already Joseph is like, dude, you gotta go to work. So we're definitely gonna be sending him to work because he is good to go. It was Flo that was up all night with this sweet little baby Ethel. Yeah, she was. Although she's not tired either and she just had a baby, so I don't know. Oh, what's she doing? Oh, Coming over to talk to Joe? She's like, I'm just gonna chat Best with him. Can you believe that? Very Hug lovingly. Baby. We just procreated a beautiful baby. Yo. And actually, oh. I know that it's like no. really soon, but oh. Joe, don't go away. We have to make another baby. I know you really want orange juice right now but we had a girl and we still at least need to make three more babies and what we really need is a boy so we got to get on it we have to get on it we have things to do oh they're both leaving no come back she's like joe come on come back here let's make a baby how about that how about that you want to make a baby even though we just made a baby oh yep, yep, she's yep, like yep, sleeping yep. oh oh man he said uh yes that's what i want to do i've never wanted anything more than your love all right um let's go check on ethel she's just a little sleepy baby their little butterfly onesie on little baby little, little baby baby to a fire it's winter time too guys it's not snowing yet but all the leaves have fallen off the trees i really think it's time we probably get rid of the pumpkins oh my yes sir all right joe I said off to work i go okay so oh no and he's leaving before he can fix the sink. And that's his job. Although I don't think that, that Flo couldn't do it. Of course she could do it. I am woman, hear me roar. But I kind of want to leave certain things up to each person. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just have her go down and like add ice here. And then I'm going to like just let that run all day until Joe gets home. It happens. And then what do we have in this fridge? Do we have... Food? Let's open this up. We do. Okay, so get your fruit salad on. Have that. She's like, I feel kind of pregnant right now. Awesome. Like, I'm so happy. I'm thinking about myself. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. She's so flirty. A special connection from feeling close with someone nearby, although he left, so it's kind of going away now. Yeah, go ahead and clean that up in a different sink. Totally cool. Just gonna hear that running all day. It's fine. So it's Sunday. So that means we are. Oh, already? Are we, we doing this? Oh, she's gonna go work on the laundry here. Are these dry? Go put these away first. Doing the laundry. Doing my wife's the duty. Let's see. Can we hang these? Pristine and damp. We can go ahead and hang these. That's great. Yes, queen. Hanging out outside. Let's see, why don't we go to the bathroom while we're out here since it is so very far away. Ooh, Joe's got plans to evolve when he gets home. That's very exciting, we need to do that. Oh, the baby's crying. We're coming, Ethel. Coming, baby. Oh no, come on, we gotta change the straight diaper. Oh, she's so unhappy. Oh, and then we'll, we'll feed her, oh honey. Let's do first person cam going up to this sweet baby. I'm coming, baby. Oh, where are you going? Seriously? You're g oh, you g she just gotta wash her hands, of course. That's totally fine. You're going to, although, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna take care of that baby. We're coming, Ethel. Oh, honey. He's okay. 
Change that diaper. There we go. Feed the sweet baby. Right. Then let's talk to her and rock her and make a little silly face at her. That'll be so much fun. Yes. Oh. Yes. Loving the baby. You're my reason for living. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna get water. Okay. Get water out of. It's not gonna be very good. You know that, right? We should go gather some more while you've got uh, nothing to do. And then after we do that, let's see. Ooh, these need to be thrown away. That's gross. It's like bugs around it and water all over the floor. Oof. Got stuff to do there, my dear. Get that water. Yay. Uh, no. Don't just leave this right here. You clean that up. <laughs> Silly girl. I'm just gonna leave this in this beautiful little pond right here. He's a funny lady there. Oh, we need to throw these away too. Oof. Got stuff to do there, Flo. Got house cleaning to do. And we will get it all done. Let's throw away the pumpkins and then we can throw away the beautiful flower arrangement you made because it's all gross. Wonderful. Yay, now let's set this table again with uh Let's do the tan again. That was like a nice little matches and everything. And then, uh, how's everything looking here? I feel like everything's pretty clean. That's wonderful. So let's get down and work on your knitting. What we got going here? The white rug, oh yes. Well actually, let's go ahead and light this fire here. Then we can knit by the fire. Cause you know how much we like to do that. There we go, very nice. Just rocking in my rocking chair. Enjoying a fire. Did you finish? Yes. You know, I said we were gonna donate it, but we should put it in the baby's room. How about that? I feel like I like that idea. The babies need a rug. Well, baby, sorry. There's only one so far. And let's just put it like that. Make it a little cozier. Okay, now you can knit something else that we will donate, I promise. Oh no, we gotta knit Joe a sweater. Okay, just kidding. Mm. Okay, this is women's. Let's knit Joe a red men's sweater. I like it. You knit that sweater and try to knit it good because he's very judgmental, <sighs> unfortunately. <laughs> Joe's home, yay! Hi, Joe. Okay, like immediately I'm gonna need you to fix this because it's making a mess everywhere. Brought home 161 doll hairs. Okay, and he's gotta harvest some stuff and we also have some stuff to evolve, so let's go do that. Evolve this and evolve that. I don't think there's anything to harvest. That's unfortunate but totally fine. You know, obviously winter is probably gonna be harvest light because there's not very many things to do so. Doing so good. Oh, it's so dirty and everything. Okay, Flo, it's your turn, my dear. I need to mop that up and then use the elbow grease to clean that and then throw that away. All right, Joe, what are we gonna do with you? Hmm? You could go out and um, build more stuff. Let's see, let's craft some furniture. Um, let's make a new garden pot so you can grow some more things. Let's see what else we can grow here. Cause these are all full. Actually, let's have you change cause you're outside and it's very cold. So change outfit into your winter wear here and then you can go and resume this garden pot doing good there Flo. oh and then need to eat something still got more stuff let's have a salad what's wrong with you sore from chores oh i know you have such a hard life would have been difficult living in this time i'm sure of it there we go now you can get some work done yeah so sure of himself. Flo looks like she needs a nap. Why don't you 
go take a, a little, little nappy nap upstairs there, Flo. Until the Ethel needs oh. something. Oh. It's be time soon for Flo to wake up and uh, cook some dinner. Joe's gonna get hungry before too long. No, that wasn't much of a nap, but you know, we got clothes to put away. All right, Flo, come on down. Put this laundry away, replace this water. You got stuff to do. Oh no, Ethel's, okay, see. Nope, nope, nope on all of that. Ethel needs you, she needs you. Go and change that dirty diaper. Oh, oh, I know. Oh boy. Oh, Joe finished his woodwork. Fantastic. Oh, it's Sunday, so we can sell our harvestables. $168. $240, $135, and we're gonna keep the apples and grapes. No, Joe, you don't, what? No, you don't cook. Joe's hungry and he's like, ugh, gosh. That is not your job. We have jobs, each of us, at this time, that's not yours. Okay, gotta get that garden planter and put it out somewhere. Oh, we've got, oh, he got this one, I think, from work. So, where should we put it? We're like pretty stocked up here. Move it over there. It'd be the odd man out there. Maybe we should change the color and paint it so it's like the other ones. There we go. See, we, we stained it, painted it, if that's even a thing back then. Okay. And then let's put this one on the front porch. That'll be nice. Okay. Great. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, and then we can sell the beeswax too and the honey. Let's not sell the upgrade parts because he can gain more skill by upgrading some other stuff stuff around the house i don't know what we can right now what makes sense for this time but he could probably upgrade some stuff all right joe i know you really want to eat but <gasps> alicia hunt no she can't come over Ugh. that woman i swear she's <sighs> she's awful Let's open these seed packets and see if there's anything we can grow right now. I don't think so. Let's see, summer and spring, fall and winter, more holly, which I guess is fine. Let's go ahead and put some holly out here. Go, go plant this, Joe. Joe, Flo will cook for you when she gets a chance. You stop that. He's just like, relentless. I'm trying here. She can't do everything, even though that's what exactly you want her to do. So let's Put that away. I'm gonna place the water and then you can go cook for your husband because he is in need. Let's make some tomato soup for everybody. Oh, Alicia Hunt is wanting to know if I wanna go over to her house and hang out? What is wrong with this lady? Can you get a grip please? Joe, go swimming, go, or no, not go swimming. <laughs> Go fishing, go try to fish with like uh He's gonna fish with, see what fishing with grapes does for you. Let's see about that. And then when you're done, you can come back and water that. Go catch something and not the next door neighbor. Alicia Hunt, she lives in this house right here and she's just like watching him, I'm sure of it. Probably like at her window being like, oh, he's right there. Yeah, you make that soup for your husband, even though <sighs> he has some woman calling him all the time. Okay, Joe, come eat. Set the rest of the table so it's all matchy-matchy and finished. Okay, you're not even really that- oh, this needs to be thrown away too. Boy. You do that, and you're not even really that hungry, but I suggest you eat anyway. There, you got your soup. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your beautiful wife. Gossip. Borny Fatosa Bab. Lissarac. About a prank that you played? Oh, a V name. Yes. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> Tell a joke about penguins. Oh, is it funny? <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 yes. Flo, Flo's not feeling well. He's <laughs> flirting with her, <laughs> that's nice. I didn't even tell him to do that, that's good. Oh, you're gonna clean up? Well, that's really, really nice of you. And then after you're done, you should come over and kiss your wife. She's so sleepy. Oh, mm. yeah. 
You're my sunshine. That's what she said. Okay. She's like, I have got to go to bed. I am so tired. And Ethel will probably be up crying before too long. I'm sure of it. Why don't you do some reading, Joe? Do we have a book? Okay, you already read the Lucas Dark and the Increasingly Unlikely series of coincidences. Great. Uh, let's open this up. You bought The Night the Moon Forgot to Shine. Read that. Read it in the rocking chair. Very calm, very chill. Maybe we'll go for a little outing tomorrow or something. So happy though. New baby, good company, cozy fire. He loves the way the place is decorated. Thank you very much. Oh, he liked his meal, <laughs> which we forgot to put away. I think Joe can get it together enough to put the food away. I would hope so. You know, Joe, you've barely even uh, spent any time with your daughter. So I think that we should do that. Come and uh, cuddle this sweet baby. Coo at her. Maybe bounce her around a little bit. You gotta, I mean, just cause you're not her like person that feeds her and you know, whatever. You can help out a little bit, huh? You wanna see your daddy baby? No. He loves her. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, what'd you do? Gosh. He's like, who are you, stranger? Great. Okay. Joe, go ahead and go to bed. That's fine. Totally cool. It's late. Joe reached parenting level one. Joseph can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. He can now reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action or simply yelling at the child to stop. Baby, Ethel's like, oh, and you gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Okay. Oh, well, this is how it works sometimes, so I'm gonna need you to go change the diaper real quick and then run out in the snow to go to the bathroom. Reach parenting level two. Florence can now influence kids to do homework. Florence can now firmly tell her kids not to do bad behaviors, and she can also select more options when responding to a teaching moment. Well, that's good. Um, I think mostly back then it was yelling to and like heavily reprimanding children. So we'll see. Oh gosh, it must be freezing out there and she's still so upset. Okay, I know, we'll be back. We'll be back, we'll be back, I promise. I know, oh, so hungry. She's like, I am enjoying the peace and quiet out here. <laughs> Better hurry up, Joe's gonna get woken up and he'll probably get mad. He's gonna be like, ugh, isn't that your job? I'm coming, Ethel, jeez. Put in rocker. Coo at her. Oh, no. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, what's up? What's up with this tummy ache? You passed that baby. All right, Ethel's all taken care of. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, oh boy. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> my. Wowza. We should probably clean that real quick. And then let's go inside and get like a late night snack while everyone is asleep. Let's have that, I don't even know. When was yogurt invented? Grab a serving of that fruit. It'll make your stomach feel better. Oh boy. Yeah, yogurt's very old, so you could totally have some of that. I don't know. She's smelly. You can take a bath in the morning after you're done eating, go up and go to sleep. So snowy outside. Oh, oh, all right, we'll go to the bathroom then. Oh, he's gotta go so bad. Hurry up. He's pretty smelly too. And he's like fully awake though. So once he's gone to the bathroom, he can go take a bath. Now go take a bath, get all clean. Some stuff to harvest now, so that's exciting. What do we need to do? We gotta fertilize some plants. We can't graft yet because we need a higher gardening skill. But if we fertilize some plants, then we might get high enough skill to do these other things that we need to do now that is just so joe can move up in his goal of becoming a freelance botanist on top of his gardening career he wants to grow plants and become an expert gardener all right flo's awake and she really wants a bath as well but you can't right now flo needs to get on stuff too. spend a thousand dollars on kid stuff well once 
Ethel's birthday happens and she's a toddler. We'll buy her some toys and stuff like that. So that'll work. We need to go cuddle this baby until Joe gets out of the bathtub. How about that? <gasps> Flo is expecting. Oh my gosh, that happened so quick this time, guys. That's so exciting. Flo is already super preggers. Yay. Having a baby is the second baby hopefully it's a boy so we can be the heir very exciting all right yeah you go take a bath yeah, and no. guess what we're having a baby he's like what Oh, ah. yes. Seriously? Again? Okay. Yeah, that's very exciting. Maybe it's gonna be a boy this time. That would be the most exciting of all things. Yeah, I'm sure it would be. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, but join me next time for episode six of Journey to 2020, A Sims Decades Challenge. All right, guys. Have a great week.